Okay. So if we can start off with um, Nancy, if you want to um, read the public input. Don't, I think we need to do a roll call since it's all virtual for the record. I don't know. That's okay. that's what the ruling or the rules were last year when we first started. Okay, it's we annoying, have, but, but we can. Um, do we need to, I just need to read everyone out? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Well, okay. Is it, <laughs> Hold on one second. I just have to see if everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, no, all right, I'll start with the people I can see. Um, Joanne Potter. Here. Nancy Newbert. Here. Travis Dwyron. Yep, I'm here. Estrada Schaefer. Here. Stephanie Hagenboo. Here. Linda Corliss. Here. And Lynn Manley. And Rebecca Hopper. No. Okay. okay. Did I miss anyone? One, two, three. Okay. I think that's everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to read the public input now? Yes, that would be great. Okay. The first public input session is a 15 minute session with each person having no longer than three minutes in which to make a statement but a second public input session may be held at the end of the meeting if allowed by the board chair. The speaker will give his, her name, address, and reason for speaking. Public input is designated for district residents, but the board chair may grant non-residents the opportunity to address the board. Statements concerning subject matter that falls under the law regarding executive sessions, for example, matters involving personnel, cannot be made during public input. There was a live stream link at the top of the agenda if anybody would like to, to email their comment. There is no public input at this time. Okay. Um, so our only agenda item is to call the public hearing. So I have the language for that. Um, do we need to have a discussion about this first or how does this... Um, how does this go down? I think if you're comfortable with what are we discussed last week as far as the budget and the bot that bottom line, then you just need to make the motion, Denise, and read read what um, following the motion. Okay. So is this a motion that I'm reading? Yes. Did you get that from Jen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> I think you read the motion first, then it's seconded, and then you have to read the whole thing that says vote to call a district budget referendum. Okay, then I don't know that I have the language for the motion. I have the vote to call the district okay. referendum. It's, so we just check and see if it was. It's on the same document. It just says oh. motion underlined. I do not have anything underlined. Okay, so I can I'm share that. Let me start with a vote to call a district budget, and then it goes into whereas pursuant to governor's executive orders. So if you, I have the, the document. So okay. if um, whoever would like to make the motion, I can, I'll just, I'll just send this out to everybody, okay? Um, hold on a second, just for, do, do, do. Copy and compose. So let's see. Uh, and uh, so there's there's four different things that we're that we have to call. So wait, what? Um, there looks like there's the. The one that I have is kind of like an overview, and then it looks like there's three different parts of it. Yes, the referendum, the hearing, and the warrants. Yeah. And the notice of the public hearing. So what I have, yeah, so it, it's all in, all in conjunction. So it's a vote to call a district budget referendum, call a public hearing, approve the referendum warrants, and approve the notice of public hearing. And... 
I'm going to send this all to you guys all so you can see it. So I just sent it. And it's not as uh, lengthy as you would expect. It's just a... The formatting's a little weird. If somebody can, I guess, read the first part, mm -hmm. or... Oh, I see. The motion is just the part that says vote to call, the part in bold. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Right. Um, yeah. So if somebody can make that motion, then I will follow up with the rest of it, I guess. Um, I'll do it. Is that you, Ms. Newberg? Yes, it is. Okay. So sorry. I'm on my, I'm on my uh, minute, so I can't, I'm not looking at my screen. Me either. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's just I to make the motion to call the district director referendum. That's how I word it. Uh, um, it is the so are you looking at that document? So you made the motion. We'll have a second to call and approve the warrants for the budget meeting and the validation referendum, and to authorize the notice of amounts adopted. So I have to say that all that's the motion, or that's the motion. That actually is different, though. Than, it is different than what I have. Hmm. Um, and then, and then it, the budget meeting valid refer validate validation referendum. Well, did you do you have vote to call a district budget referendum, call a public hearing, approve the referendum warrants, and approve the notice of public hearing? Is that what you have? That's okay. what I have. That works. Yeah. That's good. Okay. That, this is all encompassing. So, okay. so Nancy, okay. if you want to, yeah, that would be good. Okay, I make the motion uh, for the vote to call a district budget referendum, call a public hearing. Approve the referendum warrants and approve the notice of public hearing. Okay. Do we have a second? Awesome. Second. Stephanie. Stephanie. Thank you. And then do we vote? Do I read my part and then we vote on it? Yes. And I have to record each person individually on, okay. the, on the document. Okay. So whereas pursuant to governor's executive orders number eight and number eight A, fiscal year 2021. The district budget meeting is suspended and replaced by a remote public hearing and the proposed budget submitted to referendum. And whereas the school board has approved a proposed budget and other questions for submission to the voters of the district. Now, therefore, be it that the warrants and notices of election for the district budget referendum presented to this meeting be approved and that the district budget referendum be called for June 8th, 2021, for the purpose of submitting the fiscal year 21-22 school budget and other fiscal matters to the voters of the district for approval as set forth in the warrants and the notice and notices of election. That the notice of public hearing presented to this meeting be approved and that a remote public hearing be called for May 20th, 2021, for consideration of and comment on the fiscal year 2021-2022 school budget and other fiscal matters to be submitted to the district voters at the June 8, 2021 district budget referendum and that the warrants and notices of election and the notice of public hearing shall each be signed by a majority of the school board and that such signatures may be made electronically by execution of counterparts or in person at the convenience of the members of the school board. You did it. Okay. So now we vote on that, um, but one by one. So I'll do a roll call, I guess. Um, yes. Joanne Potter. Yes. Nancy Newbert. Yes. Travis Byron. Yes. Linda Corliss. Yes. Estrita Schaefer. Yes. Stephanie Hagenbaum. Stephanie's frozen. She is frozen. Um, she's on the phone too. Um, well, I will vote Denise Mallet. Yes. And we don't have the others joined, right? Right. Okay. Um, come on, Stephanie. Uh, well, we can pause for a minute.
Yeah, we can hold for a second. I don't. Is it permissible for her to text it? Mm. I, she can hear us, but the, I don't think she's back on with her. Yeah, I think oh. we just need to call back on with the. I can t I can send her a text. Okay. Yeah, I don't have her text. Oh, she left. She knows she's trying because she okay. just left. Me. If we can get back. Do, 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 do. I actually don't have her number here. Do you have it, Audra? I'm looking. I have it if uh, you want me to text her. Yeah, I just asked her to okay, just we'll do call it. in, maybe. Yeah, or if she could just call in. If she could, or she could call, call you, you in, have yeah. her call you and yeah. just hold them up. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, Stephanie, can you hear us? We're going to make Mr. Russo go to Stephanie's house and get this figured out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you just make them? Can you say yes or no to the motion? Yes to the motion. And I'm using another computer. Hopefully I'll see you guys, but I'm going to keep the phone like this just so I don't lose you again. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank got you. Your vote. Thanks. Okay. All right, so the motion passes. And what, do we need to do anything else for official purposes for this one? We need to make sure that everybody signs the document that Jen shared. Um, Betty Moore is coming tomorrow morning. First thing to um, was get all the documents and bring them to each of the town offices. First thing. Okay, so we all need to sign them tonight. Yes. And, um, can somebody who has Lynn and Rebecca's phone numbers maybe send them a text just to make sure that they get those done tonight? Yes, we will. I was just going to ask that question. Can they sign it if they didn't vote? Oh, I don't think so. Right. It's just the people that are here tonight. Right. Yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah. Okay. Um, and is that, do we have any other, any other others, anything else to discuss? We do have another. We, okay. um, on our agenda, we did not add um, resignations, new hires of staff or anything like that. However, this afternoon, you um, may have already seen your email that um, Noble High School Principal Joe Finley is, um, going to be resigning as of August 1st. And oh. we are not saying retiring because he's already had one um, part of that. So this is his, um, this is his letter. So um, he's been with us for 14 years, but a total of 48 years in oh education. So just an incredible, incredible um, career. And to end it with us is, is just, uh, just icing on the cake for us. So thank you to Joe for his time with us and um, his incredible legacy. Mm -hmm. um, so we do need a motion for that. Somebody wanna? I make a motion to accept his resignation with thanks for all the years of service. Mm -hmm. I will second it. 
Okay, thank you. All in favor? And Stephanie, if you could give us a verbal. Yes, in favor. Um, yeah, thank you, Mr. Finley for, I mean, not just his time here, but obviously all of his time for education, but um, I guess, especially for Summit Noble. For sure. I missed the vote, but I'm a yes. I hit the hangout button instead. Okay. <laughs> well, they are right beside each other, so I understand that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um, anything else? I didn't know. have any other others. Okay. Um, do we have Do we have a meeting next week? We do not. So could I just ask that, um, so we don't, so if that's the, oh, we don't. So we don't have one for two weeks? Right, the sixth okay. would be the next meeting. Okay, so can I just ask that we get uh, maybe a weekly email update on how things are going? And one of the things that I would be interested in is um, what percentage of teachers have been able to get vaccinated? Um, and then uh, maybe just, and I know it's vacation week next week, but um, just an update on whether or not the high school was had made the rest of those changes that we had talked about last week. Um, and um, and then I guess just lastly, sort of uh, an update on how the ninth grader transition is to the other day. So th those are just things, but I'd love an, if we could get an email update with just some of the stuff that you normally cover anyway. Okay. okay. Sure. Um, in terms of the staff vaccination piece, we'll give you the best we can, but we can't, um, we actually can't require them to let us know if they were vaccinated or not. So for yeah. those who have volunteered the information, we will share that. Yeah, just, I mean, you guys had given us some rough numbers before, yeah. so whatever, you know, something yeah. along those lines. Gotcha. Okay. Sure. And we may even have an athletics game score to report out. Yeah. Yeah, we may. We may. My understanding is that there are four track meets scheduled and one of them is at home. Mm -hmm. So yeah. are, are spectators allowed to go to that? Yes, they are. They are. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Um, I guess if there's nothing else, we can get a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. This is Joanne. I knew it would be you, Mrs. Potter. Thank you. I'll second. I'll try to be consistent. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank Have a good you. weekend. Everybody, go sign your stuff. That's